everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. Out and about taking care of my chores on a semi uh, cloudy day. That's got a blue sky up there. A little bit of rain has been coming down here and there. Um, and it is humid. It is really humid out. I've been getting a question a lot lately based on two devices the LG G6 and the Samsung Galaxy S8. Which device would I choose? Which one would be my one daily driver? Now, I want to try to answer this question that I've been getting a lot lately based on just the average consumer, but it's hard to do that because, well, I am a YouTube reviewer, okay? Not a big-time YouTube reviewer, I'm just a small YouTube reviewer, just, just a guy who wants to do his best at giving you what I can and information about smartphones, the ones that I bring in and review. Okay, I want I want to be able to do that to the best of my ability, in, in what I know, and help you make decisions based off my experiences with the devices that I bring in. Now, the G6, the S8. Which one would I choose based off my experiences with both these devices? And again, this is just off me. My thoughts, my opinions, and my experiences with both, both these devices. As a YouTube reviewer, and as a consumer. But I really want to lean towards just being the consumer and choosing one. And I would have to start off with the price point. Now, I got my G6 for 650 smacks from T-Mobile. It is now 500. Wow, 500, are you kidding me? And if you do your homework, you can pick up the G6 for even better than that if you're going to pay uh, a monthly. Okay, but you do your own homework. The S8, 750, brand new. Or you can go for the unlock variant right now at Best Buy for 725. Okay. But again, there's there's a lot of different price points. You have to do your homework on that. I, I'm just going off what uh, what I've paid. Now, I did pay less for my S8 because I purchased my brand new T-Mobile variant through Swappa for less than the price point that it's at right now, whether it's at Best Buy or through your carrier. But I'm going to look at it as if I paid that regular price, okay? If I'm, I'm choosing one device for the next year or two, price has to be my number one area. So I'm going for the G6. Now as a YouTube reviewer, I shoot a lot of video. And I had the issues that I had with the S8 Plus, and that's why the S8 Plus went back. Okay, the focus honey. Going out of focus for a period of time. The blurry. I got frustrated. I was like, ugh! I sent it back, still waiting for my refund. Since then, that little voice in my head just kept saying, you need to go at it one more time. So I was able to pick up the S8, and I've been having a lot of fun with it as the average consumer. I really have. I've had a lot of fun with it. But in shooting video, it's gotten better. There's been some software updates through Samsung T-Mobile. It's gotten a lot better. I'm not too concerned about it now. I still think it needs that one more software update, and it will be there. But there's still some restrictions. Whether, whether you're shooting video in 1080p 60 frames a second, you only got 10 minutes to utilize in shooting in 1080p 60 frames per second. If you're using the dual camera mode, you got five minutes. You don't have those restrictions on the LG G6. In creating content as a YouTube reviewer, the G6 just makes more sense. If I'm the average consumer, I would still shoot a lot of video. I like shooting video, I like taking pics. So it would still be a concern of mine, even though the S8 has gotten better. And most of you in watching some of the videos that I've uploaded are telling me that. Now a couple of you have pointed out a little bit of the focus setting, but it's it's not that bad. It's doing a lot better. But when making phone calls and sending messages, getting messages, watching movies, videos, listening to music, web browsing, little social media, I, the S8 has just been phenomenal. The 835 is just a monster chipset. It's fast. It's a little bit faster than the G6, 
But I would say, in my experiences with both these devices, the G6 is a little bit smoother. A little bit smoother. But there's really only two reasons why I would pick the G6 over the S8, and that is the price, and that is in shooting video. I do a lot of that. I'm blessed to have both and use both, review them, but and you and, and but use them as the average person and enjoy them. And I'm enjoying my time with the S8. And whether I sell it or not, for right now, I'm having a blast the second time with it. Honestly, I'm having a great time with the S8. I'm just letting you know why I would pick the G6. It's not a big spread. It's not a big margin here. It's just a little bit. You're not going to tell the difference between the 835 and the 821. I'm not. Okay, let me take that back. Maybe you will, and depending on what you're doing. If you're util utilizing a lot of VR, maybe you're a gamer, I don't know. Maybe that's when the 835 is really going to show its stuff outside of being a little bit faster. But for what I'm doing with both devices, I can't tell the difference. LG did something special with the LG G6. They really revived themselves from the G5. Not to take away from the G5, because underneath the hood, that device was a beast, was a monster. The cameras on that device, phenomenal. Okay. LG really utilizing the cameras on their devices. Two cameras, standard mode, wide angle mode, bam. I wish Samsung could have done that on the S8. Now I'm at the bank. There's just some areas that the S8 falls short of than the G6. LG has set a, a new standard for, for devices going into 2017. They said, we're not going to give you everything in the spec world. We're not going to give you all of the latest and the greatest. But when you use this device, you're not going to know that you're missing all of the latest and the greatest. Okay, there's a lot on here. Again, the A35 may kick in in areas that you needed to that the G6 may not be able to handle. I, I don't know. Because I'm telling you, for what I do, they're both about the same. Okay, just one being a little faster, the other being a little smoother, the G6. But yeah, you got an Irish scanner, got facial recognition. Bixby at some point will be fully there. You'll be able to utilize it right now. I'm not utilizing it. I love both the displays, the 16 by 9, 1440 by 2960. But some of you, you just you just don't want the IPS LCD display. You want the Super AMOLED display. That may be an area that, you know what, that, that's a big deal. Both these, both these displays are awesome. 16 by 9 aspect ratio are just phenomenal. Almost gives you that cinematic view, viewing when watching movies and videos. There's a lot to love about both these devices. There's a lot that both of them are going to give you. You cannot disregard the S8. I just have a couple areas that are being met for me that is going to be the reason why I choose the G6. This, and maybe to some of you that's not a heck of a lot, but it is to me. Remember, your money, you gotta choose. Huh? I mean, I feel a lot of times that I'm just repeating myself, but we have to because there's always new viewers. There's always uh, other other uh, folks coming on by this channel and they don't know and they're watching and they're trying to figure out if they wanna, you know, join the team or not. So I wanna, I wanna, reiterate on, on on some of the areas that I've already covered and talked about even though they're repeats you spend your money spend it wisely look into these devices and ask yourself do I really need the iris scanner or am I fine without it 
Do I love what the fingerprint sensor is on the G6 more so than I do on the S8? Yes, I do, but you, you may not care because you're going to use that iris scanner. You're going to use that facial recognition. They're both water-resistant IP68 certified, right? They both have one single firing speaker, but having that coating, that membrane, does not restrict the sound and the quality of sound that you're getting from both these devices. Your media consumption is going to be met on both these devices. They really are. Battery life, call quality, messaging, both these devices. So yeah, there's a lot to love about both these devices. But for me, personally, the price point in running a channel, the price point in running my finances for myself personally and for my family, and in shooting video, I don't have the restrictions here at all. I don't have to babysit at all. I just boop and I go. And even though it's gotten better on here and I just feel like they're just one software update away from being even that much better, there's still those restrictions. But again, this one isn't beating this one by like a huge margin. It's just right up here. It's just right here. Anyway, there you go. Um, I did want to give you an update on the Lightning Night screen protector. I got one feedback that said the screen protector didn't work with the case. Um, that, let me see if I can find it. Roy Glass says that it did not work with his um, Neil Spigen hybrid case. That he was going to try a different case. I made sure I put a disclaimer in that video that the Lightning Knight screen protectors may not work with every case. That's that's one of the huge, uh, one of the biggest areas, especially when you're working with curved displays. Flat, curved, that could be an area that needs, that some of you may not want, you know, because screen protectors, they're hard to find, you know, screen protectors that will work with the cases that you buy for your device. It doesn't happen that often with a flat display okay so that's one of those areas I can go and choose in a device anyway so um, my screen protector uh, and Roy Glass said that he's going to um, pick up another case he's gonna pick up an Alexa case uh, for his device and see how that works with the light United screen protector. but it's working great with mine so two different companies two different OEMs uh, working together. The Lightning Night Screen Protector, this is the update that I wanted to give you with the Elixir case. I haven't tried any other cases. I got some cases coming in, so I'm going to see how those cases work with this Lightning Night Screen Protector. But as you can see, hopefully there's no bubbling, no lifting at all. So that's the update. For me, my screen protector is working great with my case. Okay? Totally, totally stoked on that. So that's my update. Again, there's many different types of cases out there, many different types of screen protectors. It's all a hit and mess, miss, especially when it comes to curved displays. Again, the curved display on the S8 is not as dominant as the S7 Edge, which is great. Uh, my wife loves hers regardless. We've already tried like four different screen protectors for her S7 Edge. She doesn't care. She loves that device. She would pick that over the S8 any day. So anyway, there you go. The LG G6 would be my choice as my daily driver if I had to have one device. But I'm having a blast with the S8. That makes sense. Peace. I'm out. God bless. To my next video, this is my Project 13. You are my Project 13. Have a great and wonderful day.